Hey guys and welcome to yet another Monkey Pixels tutorial. My name is Damien Cooper and today I will show you how you can edit your interviews or talking heads up to 10 times faster with just a couple of tricks. One, two, three, listen. So in general, we're recording a lot of corporate interviews and now that we're trying to do YouTube full times and up our volume when it comes to producing YouTube videos, obviously we have a lot of talking heads and interviews to edit. And this process can be really tedious, exhausting and quite frankly, in the past, it was completely draining the life out of me. So before I show you all my tricks, how I completely speed up my workflow, I will show you how I did it before. So as an example, I will be using a recent YouTube video that I uploaded, but this could be pretty much any interview or talking head. So here's the way I would do it before. So once I have all the footage in my editor, I would just start listening to the entire recording. And once I start listening, I would hit the I key to mark an in point and would start listening at this point. The two microphones we used the most were the NTG4 Plus as well as the... So once I or my interview subject messed up, I would start the whole process again, mark another in point until I have a take that I can actually use for my final video. But obviously this way I have to listen to the entire thing and that just takes forever. Because trust me, I am no one hit wonder. I had from previously the names and you often, often. <sighs> and then all everything works again my life. <laughs> of the focus ring. It's not a focus ring. The focus ring. It is where and when one of you... Nah. Step number one is you need to activate the waveforms. So this way we can actually see when the subject starts talking and we don't need to sit through all the phases where nobody is saying anything. So here's the technique I came up with and I'll be using this for our interviews as well as our talking heads. And it's pretty similar to using a classical clapper and that is whenever I or the subject finished a take that is really good and I can use for our final edit, I will just snap my fingers next to the microphone. So this way, whenever I see a spike in our waveforms, I know that the take before was actually the one that I wanted to include in my video. So what I do now is that I start after the last clap and I will just go through the beginning of the first audio take. So what I will do now is that whenever I see a spike in the waveforms, I know that the take before that is actually the one that will end up in the video. But to double check, I will start the first recording and control if this is actually the same beginning as the one right before our spike. So now I can just select the take right before our spike and I don't have to listen through all the crap that came before it where I made a lot of mistakes. In Final Cut, I would just hit the F key to mark it as a favorite, but if you're using Premiere Pro or DaVinci, just put it directly into your timeline for later use. So now that we're only left with the good parts, I will start adding them to my timeline one by one. And once I have two clips in my timeline, I will just clean them up and trim them the way that I only have the bits where I start talking and end talking. And again, I keep repeating this process until I have the entire raw cut of the interview. So now we have our entire interview in our timeline and I haven't even listened to one take in its entirety. And that was blazing fast. Now that I start adding B-roll on top of it, I will actually start listening to the whole thing for the first time and adding B-roll to it. So now if you find any mistakes within the actual takes, you can just put B-roll on top of it or even trim them a little bit more so that it actually sounds pleasing. But up to this point, this was blazing fast and it really didn't take a long time. And the most important tip to actually make this technique work is to actually have your subject or yourself talk in blocks. So whenever your subject starts a take, they really need to finish it from start to finish. Because if you just start cutting in and out within mid sentence, it really doesn't look good and you don't really have the option to use your clapper movement as an indicator for your takes. The second tip is just between takes, take a little bit of time so you really see them clearly separated in your waveforms when editing later in post. 
So not only is this the fastest way to actually cut an interview, but it's also the most pleasing when it comes to listening to it afterwards. Because the way we did it before sometimes is just we started to cut out mid-sentence when our subject messed up and then have them start over from this point again. But it's really hard to really get a nice and smooth transition from the one clip to the other and you could mostly hear or even see the cut. So there you have it. This is my technique of editing interviews or talking heads really fast and honestly this has saved me so much time and before I was always dreading editing these talking heads together but now with this technique it's so much easier and so much quicker that I actually have no problem starting an interview or talking head when it comes to post-production. And as always I hope you liked this video and if you did hit the like button and maybe subscribe for more tutorials, tips and tricks and reviews and I would love to see you on the next one.